there are actually two ways that you can access Mendeley. So the first is that you can go in and create your account that isn't connected to your at tu.edu account. The second is that you can actually use our institutional resources to create to access the system as well as to set up your own account. So I'm going to show you the second one first. So when I go to Mendeley.com I can just click on the sign in and it'll ask me because I've already signed in before and because I'm currently signed in on the VPN from my remote location I get this thing that asks me do I want to sign in via my institution Toro College and University System. If you are signed in with a TUC or a TCUS VPN or if you happen to be on campus when you access Mendeley you will get this option. If you aren't on campus when you do this it will just ask you to sign in via institution and you'll have to actually select which one that you want to go to. Because mine is already showing it here, I can click on sign in via your institution. And it'll ask me how I want to sign in here. So for TUC users, you want to click on the Toro One credentials. And then we are going to log in with our Toro One credential. and you can see now it's going to bring me in after it authorizes and through the system it'll bring me into my existing profile because I already have an account created and if you are coming in through your institutional one you may find that you have the beginnings of an account already put together here now much of the information the about and the research interest and all of the other things that you can manually add may not be there but anything that Elsevier can find from you because uh, Elsevier are the ones that run the back end of Mendeley now uh, anything that they can find in terms of publications or co-authors or if they can identify your Scopus ID or your Orca ID they'll add all of that in for you um, it, you just have the ability to add in additional things beyond that if it doesn't find some of those things and you can put as little or as much as you have in there so for example you'll see I've got all of my academic positions listed here I don't have any of my education that's been added in yet similarly it's found some of my publications you can see that it has about 35 of them that it's found uh, but 35 is only about a third to a quarter of the total uh, journal articles that I've published. So it's not finding everything, it's only finding the things that are available in the Elsevier uh, databases. The same thing with the data that it's providing me up here. It's only providing that data. Now the other way in which you can access this is to create an account that isn't tied to your Toro University at all. So that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to create an account and you can see this is the item that I would get if it's not on campus or if it's not picking up my VPN. So you could see here if I wanted to do the Toro one option and I was on off campus and it didn't find it I could click here sign in via my institution and it would find it. Now in this case I'm actually going to um, go about it a different way. So I'm going to create an account that has nothing to do with my institutional affiliation. And I am going to register here and we'll continue on to Mendeley and now you'll see that I have signed in and it's going to ask me right up front if I want to add in certain things and I can add in those items so I pull down the option here and in this case none of these things apply to me so I'm going to just select none and I'm going to continue on to Mendeley here 
you'll notice I could have skipped that step altogether. And you can see right off the bat it is looking for things that it thinks may be me. So it's asking me, for example, is this publication mine? And I can go in, and in this case it's not mine, so I'll just click on the X there. And you can see it's giving me some welcome information. It's potentially asking me, are these people I might be interested in following? I can go to my main account, and I can start to add in some of this information here. So the first thing it'll pop up is you'll see you'll get some of these uh, things designed to help you. So the first one it asks me, you know, do I want to update my profile? So let's say, okay. Um, it says I should put a picture in an institution in there. I should put in a little bit about myself and a description. I should put in some research interests. And then I should connect it to other profiles that I have here. And finally, it should list off my professional experience. So let's do a couple of these things. And sure, the guide was helpful. And let's take a look at some of these. So I'm going to go in and add some of this in here now. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch me go in and type these things. And then we'll start up again once I have finished. Okay, so here we are with a bit of information put into the details. We've got a picture here, a research interest added. We've got some publications that have been added here as well as some professional experience and some education experience. So this is a basic profile that you can create here. Uh, essentially we've just put in the bare necessities for this right now and as you would move this through its process of development you would want to add in different things and connect to different people as well as start following individuals yourself so that you can be notified for when people um, add things that may be of interest to you and once you finish you can click on this link here that says how does my profile look to others and you can see exactly how your public profile would appear so in this case you can see name, a bit of information picture, research interest, publications and then you've got the professional experience and educational experience here so as you can see that's a basic setup for how to create an account in Mendeley.